This is a Zeiss Axial Plan 2 Upright Fluorescence Microscope. It's the Axial Plan 2 Imaging Version. We've configured this particular microscope with an HBO 100 Mercury Illumination System. Here's the power box for it. Here's the lamp housing. And they're connected by this cord. We're also showing a camera on the top. You'd have to look at the ads to see what, if any, camera is included. We can include whatever camera you might need. This particular head is a three position. You can get 100% of the light to the eyepieces, 100% to the camera port, or a split between the two, 80-20 split. 80 to the camera, 20 to the eyepieces. You access the cubes by lifting out this, by pulling out this cover. We can put whatever cubes you might want. We're showing three of them in the ad, but if you have a different need for cubes, want to, want to put some, something else, just let us know. We've got a universal condenser. Here's the condenser centering knobs. Here's a luminous field diaphragm opening. This is what you're going to want to set for colder illumination. You're going to want to close this down, turn it to about a 10 power objective, raise and lower this condenser so that that condenser is at the precise location so that the luminous field diaphragm is in focus and at the same time center that luminous field diaphragm then open open the diaphragm back up just so it's a little bit outside the field of view we've got several objectives on this if you need, if you need different objectives we can add those too We've got some neutral density filters on the side. You can use those in conjunction with each other. That's if you get too much light from your halogen, like on a five power objective, you may want to tone down that intensity. Now if you just change the, the intensity itself, you're going to change the color temperature. The neutral density filters are going to change the the intensity without changing the color temperature. You've also got a 3200K button. You press this and it gives a certain voltage and that's going to give you daylight filter, a daylight color. You've got a halogen lamp button. You can press this to turn on and off your halogen lamp at the back. You've got two different ports for your halogen. This is if you were to have a halogen at the top. We don't, we're not using a halogen at the top because, because we're not configuring it for metallurgical. It's configured for fluorescence, so we're only using the, the bottom halogen. This is a viewing aid. You're going to look into this, this port to center your mercury bulb. And there's a button or a pull lever on this other side that you're going to pull out. You pull it out and you can see this arc. And when you see that arc, you need to take a, a three millimeter hex Allen head and you adjust these movement knobs. And then after you've got, got this in the center, you can also adjust your collector lens to get a nice uniform illumination across the full field of view. We also have an aperture and a field stop, iris diaphragm. This is how you control the iris on it. 
And here's your centering. They each have centering knobs. Three millimeter hex. And you've also got a filter slider. If you need any other type of configuration, we've got a lot of different components for these. Just let us know what you might need. Remember you can adjust your intrapupillary distance as well as your diopters. Each person may have a little different diopter, optimal diopter adjustment. You're going to want to look in one, focus the microscope, then look into your other eye, leave the focusing alone, and just adjust this diopter just a little bit until the other eye is in focus. If you have any questions about the Zeiss Axial Plan 2 imaging microscope, please let us know. Thank you.